Today we're going to be drawing a picture of Clifford. You may have read some of his books or watched his show, so we're going to do a picture of him. You're going to need a pencil. The first thing we're going to start with is his nose. So we're going to come down in the center of our paper so we have room to put his head at the top and we're going to start a little bit of a curved line. We're going to curve it around on each side, almost like an upside down rounded triangle. Once you have that, we're going to come down straight from the nose just a little bit. And then we're going to curve this way back up towards his nose. So you're kind of making a big U. And then a curved line. Same thing on this side. Come down. You want to make them kind of match. So try to look and see where you need to curve in so they're pretty similar. Curve back up and then do a little curve line on top. We're gonna add his little chin. We need to draw him some eyes, so right above his nose. We're gonna add two ovals. And part of an oval inside. We're going to come up above his eyes and draw some eyebrows. They're kind of like sideways M's. We're going to give him a round, little curved head above. from here where his eye is. So this is going to come in and then out and back up. Just make him on a little rounder so it's not so skinny. And then we're going to do the same thing on this side, right kind of where his eye is. You're going to start your little line here. And you want them to kind of match so it kind of goes in a little. And then back out. I'm just going to kind of sketch it in, make sure they match. They don't have to be perfect, just a general. So they're pretty much the same. We're gonna come from the ear. Down to the mouth like this. So there's his head. Then we're gonna come right below this we're just going to draw a little line like this for his neck. And right under his neck, we're going to draw his collar. So we're just going to do a big stretched out U or upside down rainbow like this. We're going to go straight down on the sides and then curve around again. So these two lines should be parallel. So you just want to look and make sure that they're the same. And then we're going to take a line from the corner to where we drew the neck. So it's like going behind his neck. And then from here, we're going to come out and straight down. Kind of getting wider as you go down. And then we're 
we're gonna draw his little paws. So we're just gonna draw a little rounded. And we're gonna do the same thing on this side. Try to make them similar again. Don't have to be perfect, but you want them to be kind of the same. And we're gonna draw his big belly. And then we're gonna add his back legs. So we're just gonna start about here. And it's almost like you're drawing half a heart, a little curve or backward C. And this curve that comes here, and it kind of comes out behind. Same thing on this side, we're gonna do curve line, like the letter C or a backwards heart. Should come in almost at the same point and kind of curve around and show through by his belly. And then on this side, we're gonna add a little tail. Like this. And then we're going to get our Sharpie. And we're slowly going to start going around our pencil lines. Making sure to take our time. So that we don't have to go back and erase a whole lot. We're gonna add some extra details with our Sharpie in just a minute. But we wanna get our whole outline done first. And our pencil lines erased. Once you have this, go ahead and go back and erase any pencil lines you have showing. And then we'll add some extra details with our Sharpie. So once we've got this done, we're going to go back um, and let's add his little hair and a little hair on the top. And then we're going to start to fill in the parts on Clifford that are black. So we're going to color his eyes all the way in black. And his nose and collar.
some details to his little feet. So we want to do a little line because he's sitting. And then we'll do two little curved lines. And one on the back. Once you have this, you're going to get your red. You can use a marker, crayon, or a pencil, whatever you have at home. Paint. And we're going to slowly start to color this in so we don't go out of the lines. to go around my edges first so that I will not go outside when I'm coloring. And then I'll outline around all the parts that I don't want to be red. And it's easier to kind of color in without going out of the lines. We're going to leave his collar white right there, so be careful when you're coloring. color right on top of your Sharpie. Once you're done, don't forget to grab your Sharpie and sign your work.